Hello friends my name is Jayadi Chachug from 5 Hilltop. Today we are going to visit Andhra Pradesh. Now we are going to see the history of Andhra Pradesh. In 1947, India gained independence from the United Kingdom. In 1953 Andhra state was created from part of the Madras Presidency, the first state in India formed on a linguistic basis. In 1956, Andhra state was merged with the Telugu-speaking area of Hyderabad state to form the state of Andhra Pradesh. Now we will know about capital area of Andhra Pradesh. Among the historical landmarks in the city are the temples of Sri Ambadevi, Sri Krishna, Gaj, Maharaj and Sri Venkateshwara Swami. The city is famous for Hanuman and Vayam Prasarak Mandal. One of the largest sports complexes in India, which is famous for its facility for different kinds of sports. Now we will know about government of Andhra Pradesh. The CM of Andhra Pradesh is Y.S. Jagan Mahan Reddy. The logo of the Andhra Pradesh government is. Now we will know about geographical features. The state has three main physiographic regions, the coastal plain to the east, extending from the Bay of Bengal to the Mountainar. Themselves, the Eastern Ghats, which form the western flank of the coastal plain, and in the southwest, the plateau to the west of the Ghats. Now we will know about the climate slash weather of Andhra Pradesh. The climate of Andhra Pradesh is generally hot and humid. The summer season in this state generally extends from March to June. During these months the moisture level is quite high. The coastal areas have higher temperatures than the other parts of the state. In summer, the temperature generally ranges between higher temperatures than the other parts of the state. In summer, the temperature generally ranges between the summer is followed by the monsoon season, which starts during June and continues till September. This is the season for heavy tropical rains in Andhra Pradesh. The major role in determining the climate of the state is played by southwest monsoons. About one-third of the total rainfall in Andhra Pradesh is brought by the northeast moan. Now we will know about the language of Andhra Pradesh. Telugu is the official language of Andhra Pradesh, which is also the mother tongue of nearly 90% of the population. The Minister of Tourism and Culture has declared Telugu a classical language. Urdu is the largest minority language. Now we will know about the dance forms of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Natyam is a classical dance form originating from the Indian states of Andhra. Pradesh in Telangana. This traditional dance form, having a history of 2000 years, was lost in the Mughal and British era, and was revived in the 20th century. So that the Andhra Pradesh women wear the traditional dresses are sari and blouse. And the men wear dhoti and kurta. Obviously, all communities of women wear saris and blouses. Some Muslim women also put on slowar kamis to pata. Pulihora, or tamarind rice along with green. Chilies is the most popular food in Andhra. Pradesh. The vegetarian dishes consist of kura, which include cooking different vegetables in a variety of styles, with gravy, frying, with lentils, etc. The plazas of tourist interest. Charminer. Talakona Waterfall. Sri Venkateshwara Swami Vari Temple. Rushikonda Beach. Undadli Caves. Indira Gandhi Zoological Park. Traditions of Vanara Pradesh. Arpongal, Makar Sankranti, Mahashivaratri. Sri Ramanavami, Vinayaka Chaturthi, etc. The culture of Andhra Pradesh is an integral part of the rich cultural heritage of the country. The art and crafts of the region like Kalamkari, Bidri, the fabulous weaving of Gadwal and Venkatajri, the exclusive metalware, brass, stone and wood carving, highlight the immense talent of the Andhra craftsmen.